Hello YouTube, this is Dakota from Motive Media, and today we've got a brand new reaction to a new Alan Walker track, Wake Up on Monster Cat. Yes, you've heard that correctly. After years and years of speculation and this will they, won't they kind of thing, Alan Walker has debuted on Monster Cat. I feel like I remember the days back then where NCS and Monster Cat had like a little friendly rivalry going on, and uh, everyone always assumed at some point that Alan Walker would make the jump to Monster Cat and release at least a track there, um, like he does a ton on NCS, but that never happened until uh, now after Alan Walker actually left NCS and then made the return on NCS and now is back, uh, or I should say back now here on Monster Cat for his debut. So uh, I'm curious to see what this is going to be. The new track titled Wake Up and I'm waking up right now. <laughs> for this uh, album, and uh, yeah, I'm a uh, album, I album, I don't know, I, I'm speculating it's an album, I will say that, but uh, let's hop into this new track, Wake Up Alan Walker, as a bit of a caveat, uh, I've never really been the hugest Alan Walker fan, so um, take that with a grain of salt, so here we go, this is his new track, Wake Up. Welcome. This intro sounds like it could be the first track of an album for sure. Is this Fog? from Alan Walker on his Monster Cat debut. Uh, okay, so I prefaced this early on that I wasn't the hugest fan of Alan Walker, um, but uh, this might actually be one of my favorite tracks of his. Uh, I don't really know how I feel about this track to start off. I will say that. Um, I actually really like the Electro House production on this one. Uh, it feels <laughs> it feels very separated from his previous works where um, it's just not this like very iconic NCS sound, like this very bright, uh, uh, progressive Electro House that is just very, um, like just very um, faded uh, is the best way to put it, um, or faded. So I, I, I feel like this is a great new style style and tone for Alan Walker, at least from what I've heard in the last couple bit. I hadn't even been impressed with his, his single releases up to this point, but this actually feels like it has some more weight to it, I will say. I don't think it's like, it, I don't think it's blew me out of the water in any capacity, but I think it's got something going for it. I'll, I'll, I'll tell it that, I'll tell you that. So um, yeah, I, I like the synth line a lot. It's like this kind of grittier, almost bass house kind of line to it, but it is very predominantly electro house, I would say. Uh, and then has some actual real like storyline sound design happening in the back end, which I feel is not something we get a ton from Alan Walker and in, in, in a lot of his releases um, where there's like, there's this countdown, there's this something ship firing in some capacity. There's, there's some storyline narrative happening here that it's not just uh, this is your YouTube outro music. Um, there, there's more intentionality be between um yeah, with, with what it's doing in between the drop sections, that it's not just like this, just, oh, just don't really bother about the in-betweens because you, you just, everyone's going to worry about and listen to that drop section only. So um, I, I 
think this is actually pretty solid uh, for Alan Walker. I, I actually seem to really enjoy this. Um, again, I don't think it's really anything out of this world or anything crazy, um, but if this, this is the start of some greater project from Alan Walker, which that's my prediction at least, I think this is going to be um, the first single of an upcoming album. I have no reason to back that up, but I just think that's going to be the case. Um, yeah, I can see this working really well uh, in the larger context of the whole thing, maybe. But um, yeah, I, I still feel a little uh, not sure where I want to feel about this necessarily. This is one of the things going to take a couple more listens for me. Um, I do think the lack of um, variation on the drops uh, will give it a little couple negative points for me. But um, in terms of like production quality and, and sound design, I, I actually thought this was one of Alan Walker's better ones. So uh, I'm intrigued to see what... Uh, uh, more comes out of this, if anything. But I'm very curious to hear what you guys have to say in the comment section below for sure. So um, yeah, let me know what you guys think of any and all comments in the comment section below. But other than that, I'm Dakota from Bowtie Media, and I'll see you guys in another video.